This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Hello divers. Thanks for tuning in for today's video. One of the problems that we encounter six months out of the year is the process of switching back and forth between some thickness of wetsuit and a dry suit. And this is a situation that gets further complicated if we dive in a warm Caribbean environment during the winter. So what I'm going to describe is a very non-DIR technique and some will actually say that it's an equipment solution to a skills problem. But in reality what it is is a method to make switching back and forth between wetsuits and dry suits a little bit less painful. So when switching back and forth between a wetsuit and a dry suit, particularly with thick undergarments in the dry suit, the problem that I encounter frequently is that my D-rings and my front utility pouch are in the wrong position. So if I have my harness adjusted for a wetsuit, when I put on the dry suit with the heavy insulating garments, everything is out of place and vice versa. So the obvious choice for many people would be twice a year or every time you switch uh, between a wetsuit and a dry suit would be to adjust the position of the D-rings and any other accessories that you may have on your harness. However, what I'm going to talk about today is a way of preventing from having to do that and adding increased flexibility to your harness. The vast amount of buckle systems uh, for harnesses which I've encountered uh, use a single buckle to uh, secure the waist strap and uh, this is obviously uh, just a situation where you feed the waist strap through the buckle uh, and, um, and then you close the buckle. I have seen and uh, or heard of uh, situations in which uh, individuals uh, have a second buckle installed on their waist strap and the primary purpose of this is um, to make the uh, buckle system uh, more secure. So in this case what the uh, individuals have is they have a second buckle uh, installed uh, a little bit downstream of the first buckle and they'll actually feed uh, both um, waist straps uh, through the, uh, the two buckles. Okay, so that works uh, like that, and uh, that does provide uh, some redundancy in the event that uh, one of the buckles breaks. Uh, the other application that I've heard of uh, for a second buckle uh, is to secure a can light on um, an individual's waist, uh, waist strap, um, primarily on the right-hand side. Uh, I don't use a can light. I use a, um, a light... Uh, with its um, battery mounted in the um, actual head itself, so I don't really use that. All right, so um, as you may have uh, guessed by this point, uh, what we're going to be talking about today uh, is the use of two buckles uh, on a harness system uh, to make uh, the harness uh, symmetrical and to make it easier uh, as a result to adjust between wetsuit and dry suit um, uh, use. On my stealth side mount rig, uh, I typically carry a uh, utility pouch on the front and uh, I will generally use uh, the forward and rearward uh, D-ring system uh, in order to uh, handle aluminum tanks. When I use uh, this particular rig, I have it set up so that um, I have the, uh, the uh, left hand side here uh, is open uh, with the loose, uh, loose uh, webbing and then what will happen is I will use uh, this part uh, to go through the buckle which is on the fixed end of the left hand side. Alright, so uh, what happens with the uh, switching between the dry suit uh, or the wet suit and the dry suit is 
the increased bulk uh, causes this whole uh, system to be offset because of the larger uh, circumference of the, uh, the dry suit. And so now uh, the uh, forward buckles are completely out of position and I am unable to successfully um, uh, put my tanks uh, in proper trim. So the idea behind uh, this uh, modification to make the uh, uh, harness symmetrical is uh, you also do the same thing uh, with the right hand side. And so what you do is you chop off uh, the webbing here uh, in a symmetrical manner uh, as to this side here. And so now what you have is you have two loose ends of the webbing which now uh, are fed through buckles that are mounted on the uh, fixed portion of the, um, the waist strap. I don't know whether it's better to uh, position the buckle uh, on the front component or on the side components, but since um, the uh, way the um, rig was set up originally was with the buckle on the fixed component of the waist belt, I decided just to uh, completely retain that too. All right, so what happens now is when I have increased bulk uh, of the wetsuit, uh, this goes out like that, uh, and what happens is uh, I am able to uh, provide um, uh, the adjustment through both of these sides rather than it being asymmetrical. It is now symmetrical, and I don't have the problem where my front D-rings are in the wrong position. Uh, there is a slight um, movement, but uh, it is generally in the same uh, position uh, and uh, is a symmetrical rather than being offset to one side uh, like it was um, previously. Alright, so um, in the next video clip what I'm going to do is I'm going to show what it looks like when I have this uh, mounted on the stealth rig and uh, I found this uh, so useful so far that I've actually converted uh, my uh, back mount rigs, uh, my back mount harnesses uh, to the same approach so I don't have this um, wetsuit dry suit issue as uh, we frequently go uh, to Caribbean destinations during the winter and at home uh, we're still diving in uh, dry suits. So with the back mount system I don't have the same problem um, with the, uh, the front D-rings uh, but I do have the issue with the, uh, the front pouch being uh, offset uh, which also causes problems with my uh, crotch strap uh, fitting here. That also becomes offset as well. Alright, so uh, that's the end of this clip uh, and I'm going to go to the next clip showing you uh, mounted onto the, uh, the Stealth. Here is the symmetrical side mount rig that we're going to be working with today. And uh, originally, uh, the harness was set up uh, so that the buckle, the single buckle, was on the left-hand side of the rig, and then the uh, pouch would come across the front, and um, uh, the waist belt would be put through here and clamped. All right, so um, the modification to uh, the harness is that the other side uh, of the harness, the part that would feed through this buckle, was chopped off. Uh, and an additional buckle was uh, put um, uh, in its place. Okay, so now, uh, now the harness uh, is uh, completely symmetrical. All right, so to use this uh, under normal circumstances, uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to do the same thing uh, as you did before. Uh, you're going to uh, keep this uh, normally closed and uh, you'll get in and out of the harness uh, conventionally, like just like before. Uh, and uh, you're going to clamp the, uh, the uh, waist belt in there like that, okay? And it would be used uh, in the same way it was before. Uh, but what the double buckle system allows you to do is in the event that you're actually going to be using uh, a thicker system like a dry suit with thick garments, then all you have to do is release the buckle on the one side and then on the other side, when you uh, close the buckle, uh, you will not have as much waist uh, belt in there. And you now have the ability to keep the utility pouch in the front and to also keep both of the uh, D-rings for the um, front and back uh, D-ring system in the center. And lastly, the crotch strap, uh, which is attached here, is also in the center instead of having everything uh, offset to the side uh, as would happen if you did not uh, move the buckles and the pouch and everything else over to compensate for the use of the thicker dry suit. 
All right, so this is the um, side mount rig uh, version of the symmetrical concept with uh, buckles on both sides. So I got so excited after modifying my side mount rig that uh, I decided that uh, the next thing I would do is I would modify my, uh, my travel rig that I generally use uh, on trips. And I also use this particular rig uh, for some technical diving uh, and also um, for dry suit diving when I'm teaching classes uh, in the winter. All right, so it's basically the same thing. Uh, this was the original uh, buckle. And uh, again, the um, webbing uh, for the waist belt went all the way through to this side. So again, the buckle's on the left-hand side. Uh, and so then I did exactly the same thing that I did before. Uh, I chopped off. Uh, the uh, long piece of webbing that went through the whole thing and installed another buckle uh, on this side here. And so uh, I have my front mounted pouch um, that I use again, uh, that I carry a lot of stuff in, uh, tools, uh, emergency DSMB and so on. And, uh, and again, it has the, um, it has the crotch strap. This is a different crotch strap buckle, but it's got the crotch strap, releasable crotch strap uh, buckle on the bottom. And so again, uh, instead of having everything offset like this, uh, which would cause problems with me accessing the pouch and would uh, twist the crotch strap, uh, because I now have the dual uh, buckles on both sides, uh, I can now keep everything uh, symmetrically uh, centered uh, and uh, I don't have the previous issues that I had before. So uh, I don't have this issue uh, that I had before with the, uh, the side mount rig uh, because of the front and rear uh, D-rings. I don't have that because this is a back mount rig BCD, uh, so um, that's not an issue anymore, but uh, it does uh, still work quite well with keeping the pouch and the cross strap uh, in the front. So uh, I will probably eventually uh, modify um, my other rig that I keep for local use uh, for technical diving with doubles. I'll probably do the same thing with that one as well. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.